Lunair Airlines is a large airline company that operates flights to all major tourist destinations and has a huge IT environment to support their business. They use CA Spectrum to monitor and manage various devices on the network. Their network environment have many wireless devices and they use Cisco Wireless LAN Controllers WLC, to connect those access points to reduce the operational cost. However to monitor the access points and controller, CA Spectrum needs to be connected with each of them. The administrators of Vunair Airlines are glad to know that CA Spectrum 10.1 will support monitoring Cisco wireless LAN controllers. This will avoid connecting CA Spectrum with each access point. All the access points connected with the wireless controllers can be discovered and modeled in CA Spectrum. The administrators can use CA Spectrum to view the complete wireless network topology. For easy identification, all the wireless devices discovered are modeled and listed under WLC Manager. WLC Manager will discover, model, and monitor the wireless controllers and access points. This video describes the advantages of the wireless feature in CA Spectrum. The advantages are Discovery and modeling, topology view, root cause and fault isolation, Access point migration, wireless controller failover, different one-click views of access points, spotlight view, and locator search. Let's get started by viewing discovery and modeling. Discovery of the access points can be done in three ways, one through the discovery console of CA Spectrum. Second, through the auto discovery control option in the one-click console of CA Spectrum. Third, through the Create Wireless Access Points option, available in the Configuration section. This will work in order to model all the access points for which the wireless controllers already discovered under the WLC Manager. Let's now discover all the access points of the wireless devices from the Discovery Console. Navigate to the Discovery Console. Navigate to the Configuration tab. To model wireless devices, enter the respective IP host name in the boundary list and click Modeling Options. In the Modeling Configuration window, observe a new option Create Wireless Access Points. Check it and click OK for modeling all the access points for the existing wireless controllers. Click Discover. Wait until the wireless controllers and the access points are modeled. Message confirms completion of the task. So far, you learned how to discover the access points of the wireless devices from the Discovery Console. Now let's learn discovery of the access points of the wireless devices through the Auto Discovery Control option in the one-click console of CA Spectrum. Now, let us see how to discover the wireless devices by their IPs using the Auto Discovery Control mode in the one-click console. Click the VNM model under the Universe node. Expand the Auto Discovery Control option from the Information tab. Expand Modeling and Protocol options. Observe Create Wireless Access Points option. To create wireless access points, Click Set and select Yes from the drop-down list. All the access points will be discovered. Let's now discover all the access points of the wireless devices from the Access Point Discovery option. Click WLC Manager. Observe the Configuration option under the Information tab of the WLC Manager. Expand it. Find the Access Point Discovery option. Click Run. Observe the one-click console finding the access points and displays them under the node WLC Manager. Now, let's see how the wireless devices are displayed in the topology view. Open CA Spectrum one-click console and under the Explorer tab, select the Universe node. Then, click the topology tab. Observe the connection is now established between the wireless controller, intermediate switches and access points. 
In this situation, the IPs of the access points are not mentioned. However, the access points are modeled in correspondence with the wireless controller and switch. Further, these access points are modeled as pingable and not as SNMP capable models. To view the new model type, under the Information tab, expand the CA Spectrum Modeling Information option. Observe the model type name is specified as AP Pingable. Now, let's see how you can identify the root cause and fault isolation. In this scenario, a switch connected with the wireless controller went down. Simultaneously, the corresponding access points connected with the wireless controller are shown in a suppressed state highlighting only the root cause alarm. Now, let's see the impact of this failure. Click the switch. Select the Alarms tab, and click Impact. Expand Management Lost Impact. Observe the number of devices affected are highlighted, which is 5 in this case. The first alarm is in the critical state, and the rest of the alarms are in the suppressed state. Now, let's see how access points can be migrated from one wireless controller to another. In this, in this situation, there are two wireless controllers. WLC1 is having 39 access points, and WLC2 is having 24 access points. One of the access point of WLC1 is migrated to WLC2. Note the migrations are recognized only during the polling intervals. By default in every 300 seconds, CA Spectrum polls the wireless devices and captures the change. The changes are highlighted via events on the destination wireless controller. During polling CA Spectrum identifies the change and generates the event. In this case, the event shows the access point that has been migrated and connected with WLC2. Now, let's see the consequences of a wireless controller failover. In case a wireless controller fails to work, all the activities of the primary wireless controller are taken care by the secondary wireless controller. In this scenario, there are 151 access points under the primary wireless controller. Here, when the primary wireless controller stops working, observe that it turns red. This means it has a failover. Simultaneously, observe all the 151 access points are moved to the secondary wireless controller. Now, let's move to the different one-click views of the access points. There are multiple one-click views available for the access points, which organizes their information in different formats. In this environment, observe the wireless controller Cisco 8500. Click the Information tab, and expand the Wireless Information node. Observe three information groups called the Access Points. Access Points Interface Table and Mobile Stations are displayed. Expand Access Points. A table appears with all details of the access points. Click the MAC address bar. The Table Preferences window lists the respective table columns. You can select the details you wish to see in the table and click OK to view the customized table. Similar operations can be performed for the access point interface and mobile stations. Further, Expand the Threshold node to view the Threshold parameters. Here you find the details of connected access points and the clients. Also, the number of maximum supported access points per wireless controller can be defined here as a percentage. This helps in configuring the type of alarm to be generated when the value exceeds a certain percentage. Now click the Alarms tab. Observe the alarms are raised as it exceeds the threshold value. To view the alarm details, select the alarm and click the information button. Observe the alarm detail states the reason of exceeding the threshold value. When there are multiple wireless controllers and access points, it becomes difficult to identify which access point correspond to which wireless controller. In that situation, 
Spotlight view is used to filter the access points of a wireless controller. Click the Universe node and the Topology tab. Click the Spotlight view icon. Select WLC device list. The list of wireless controllers are displayed in the WLC device list window. Select a wireless controller device and observe its access points are highlighted in the topology pane. Rest of the access points are faded. Select the hide icons checkbox to hide the faded icons. Finally, let's learn about the locator search of the wireless controllers. The locator search helps in searching for different wireless devices. Click the locator tab. Expand WLC Manager. You can view all wireless controllers or all access points by clicking the respective node in the locator pane. Click all WLCs. Observe the two wireless controllers connected. Expand access points associated. You can also locate wireless controllers with their IP address or name. Click to WLC IP in the search window. Enter the IP address of the wireless controller you want to search and click OK. Observe all the access points corresponding to the wireless controller IP are displayed. I am sure this demonstration helped you understand how CA Spectrum 10.1 supports monitoring the Cisco wireless LAN controllers and its respective access points. To learn more about CA Spectrum please visit the CA Education website.